We, I don't even know how, how we got it. Reggie Spears and some members of his family, including his six year old daughter, recently had a bout with COVID. Spears is vaccinated, but his little girl is not. So she's still six years old now. I was so I was scared to get it myself. Dr. Bashara Fredge is the chief of pediatric infectious disease at Beaumont Children's Hospital. Most of the sick kids I've had to take care of with COVID are unvaccinated. The rate of immunization for the five to 11 age group is around 20%. So the vast majority of Kids at that age have not been vaccinated. In Michigan, that boils down to one in five kids eligible for the vaccine are not vaccinated. People think that COVID for kids is in kids is not that big a deal. Um, they, they are just sorely mistaken. As Dr. Fredge makes his rounds, he sees COVID impacting kids in two areas. But this thing called MISC, multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. And there's also COVID pneumonia. Uh, those are typically older kids. Doctors want parents to rely on trusted resources to learn more about the vaccine and not rely on rumors to guide their decisions. The social media are a big problem. One rumor doctors are trying to combat is that the vaccine can impact reproductive organs. Research on mRNA vaccines has been going on for two decades or even longer than that. Now, not only does not cause infertility, but there's no mechanism for it to cause infertility. Spears says he and his wife are consulting with their child's pediatrician before deciding their next move. I'm leaning more towards getting her the vaccination. But doctors believe some parents may need something more to push them to get their young kids vaccinated. It's going to boil down to uh, schools mandating it. It's just the only way to move the needle on this stuff. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.